Chapter 10, Long Live the Queen. The Earth Queen is in danger from a group of terrorists calling themselves the Red Lotus. I love her Hannibal Lecter straitjacket. Do I have to be chained to the floor the whole way? It's going to be so uncomfortable. Sorry, ma'am, I'm under orders. What's her angle? Can I have some water? No water. We're also not going to bring you any rocks or <laughs> oh, fire, yeah. so don't ask. <laughs> That's a good point. Guess there's air, but there's nothing we can do about that. Exactly. That's exactly my point about Sahir. How did Minghua drink while she was in the prison? Come to think of it. Do they just give her like one molecule of water at a time? If you think holding us hostage will give you some leverage to use against the Avatar, you're going to be very disappointed. Yep, just hanging out with the villains in their truck. So you guys were like locked up for 15 years, huh? <laughs> I love how Bolin immediately going to like getting to know you questions. I love how open-hearted Bolin is. Actually, it was only 13 years, but it felt like 30. <laughs> I mean, what did you do with all that time? Did you sing songs, work on crafts? Mostly I just made up stories about the guards, who was having trouble with his girlfriend, which one secretly wished he'd become a pastry chef. Ooh, okay, that sounds like fun. Let me try that on you guys. It was a great conversation. I'm loving this. Keep going. Mako's face, though. <laughs> you were raised by an older sister. Your mustache grew in when you were 10, and I'm sensing an unspoken attraction between you two. <laughs> oh no. Two out of three. It's not bad. Oh. Wait, wait, huh? Which one was the wrong one? What were they again? It was raised by a sister, mustache grew in when he was 10, unspoken attraction. His mustache is pretty good. Unspoken attraction between you two. Oh, she likes him. So which one's the lie? The sister part, maybe? Will you stop making friends with the bad guys? No, this is great. Gag those two. We're almost there. Yeah, that's smart. They're getting a little bit too, a little bit too chummy back there. Well, that was easy. Give me five minutes, then start yelling for help. Yes, Batman. Well, we don't want any bounty, Your Majesty. You can consider these two a thank you gift for simply taking the time to talk to us. She doesn't realize how much danger she's in right now. Also, she only had like four guards. Did she not learn? Her lesson, like, Tenzin and Korra alone were able to handle her entire army. Who told you that we have the Avatar? How I know is not important, but if I found out, others will too. If you let me take her today, no one need ever know she was here. Send these two to the dungeon! Oh, the dungeon door is right there, okay. Yeah, they played that really well. Like, they're here to kill her, I'm guessing. But now they're able to get Korra as well. I can't remember exactly where it was, but a couple days ago I heard someone say that the only thing it takes to control someone is finding out what they're afraid of. Zaheer played on a lot of her fears. Like, one, her fear is being weak, not being respected because of her image of how her father behaved as king. The other is losing what she has. You know, she loves being queen, she loves her possessions and her things. And so an international incident would not be good for her. Made it! The Avatar has escaped! We're going down in quadrant four of the Sea Wong Desert! Airbend it. Airbend it. Oh, okay. oh, okay. Well, everyone's dead. Well, none of the crew survived. Can walk away from is a good landing. Oh, there they are. Is everyone all right? <laughs> like no. you care. You don't want to fight me. I'm afraid you weren't giving us much of a choice. Wow, this guy's dedicated. We have to find a way out of here before Zahir gets his hands on Korra. Take me with you. I haven't seen my wife and five kids in four years. Well, the first few months were great. I, I could finally get some sleep, but <laughs> now I really miss them. I know you can metal bend. I believe in you. Me too. I believe in you too, Bolin. We all believe in you, Bolin. <laughs> you can do it. Bolin! 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 Okay. Here I go. Metal bending! <laughs> this is literally everybody at some point in their lives trying to bend, go Super Saiyan, or fly. You've tried it. We've all done it. Nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> You gotta feel the particles. You're not feeling the particles. I can't metal bend. Oh. Maka really set him up there. Brought to you by Jeep. Ah! Oh yeah, they just left Naga here. And Pablo? Oh. First you scare the life out of me, now you wanna lick me. Next time you should throw her the ball. Here, chew on this and leave me alone. You got his treat. I found Cora's Jeep, but the kids aren't here. Were they sponsored by Jeep? She's still pretty banged up, but I think she might be able to limp out of the desert. Thank you, Batman. I think it's gone for now. <laughs> Are you all right? Gather every piece of metal you can find. We'll give that sandy beast a run for his money yet. I love this captain. Nice. Wow. Nice moves. Seize these hoodlums and throw them in prison until they decide to show proper respect for the crown. You need a lot more people than that. Yeah. Nice. 
Nice. So cool. You wouldn't dare attack a queen. I don't believe in queens. Whoa. He can do that? Freedom is just as essential as air. And without it, there is no life. There is only darkness. Wow. That was dark. I kind of had a feeling she was going to die. Because when I made that joke about her needing to die because of Bosco, there were a lot of not-so-subtle comments. And also the title is Long Live the Queen. But even having that suspicion, that was really upsetting. I'm sure there were some uncomfortable Nickelodeon execs in this pitch meeting. Nothing unclear about that one. About his views on freedom, I think that it's a little bit more complicated than he's allowing. I think there are different elements to freedom. In a certain sense, the residents of Ba Sing Se are not free. In a certain sense, the people in Ba Sing Se are already free. I mean, there's a type of freedom that's independent of leadership and, and rulership or country. And if people don't think like that, if they're not already free in that way, then they're not going to be free just because he killed the queen. Sometimes I think we place way too much focus on our leadership and changing leadership, when realistically that's something we have the least control over as individuals. Like, what we have the most control over is our own day-to-day -day realities. And like, honestly, I don't think here killing the queen will change most people's day-to-day -day realities, if they don't think that way. Also, just on a practical level, I'm not really sure what it changes to kill the queen. It's one thing to have high ideals, it's another thing to ignore the reality of existence. And the reality is that humanity just forms itself into leaders and all the infrastructure is already in place for a new leader just to step into her throne. And what is he gonna do? Just stay here and kill all the, kill all the leaders? I just need to make an announcement to the entire city. How do I Ooh, do Oh, this that? should be good. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Ming Hua, please. We're here to help citizens like him, not hurt them. See, I also don't like that idea. I don't like the idea that you know what's best for an entire population. I think this is a common trap that I see with a lot of really smart people. They fall in love with the idea that that they're knowledgeable and that because they've studied, they then know what's best for others, which for me is a huge stretch. I think part of the pursuit of really becoming principled and like learning as much as possible about the world should be internalizing a humility about that and understanding its limitations. However far down you go, however much you explore, there are always gonna be limitations to your understanding, especially when it comes to really, really complex things like society. There's something kind of sinister about the, this idea of like, I know what's best for you. I know what's best for all of you. I think there's something to giving people the benefit of the doubt. And I think that includes allowing room for people to make mistakes. I'm not so sure that people making mistakes aren't necessary sometimes, right? It's like, it's so complicated. How are they gonna take it, I wonder? Attention citizens of Ba Sing Se. I have an important announcement to make. I'll say. Moments ago, the Earth Queen was brought down at the hands of revolutionaries, including myself. I'm not going to tell you my name, because my identity is not important. He's a true believer. I deliver Ba Sing Se back into the hands of the people. Is he taking down the wall? He's doing what the drill can't. He makes it look so easy. Well, they're happy. You know that guy? He's my hero! Hmm, interesting. You have to metal bend us out of here. I can't just, I don't know. It takes time. No, it wasn't him. I don't think that was you. Wow. I have a message that I need you to take to Korra. No time for a test run. Let's move! Just as the sand monster attacks. Very good timing. Thanks, Batman. Why does every fictional desert have a desert monster? I think he's gone! Nope. We did it! You just killed us all. Never celebrate. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Asami. You've got a good head on your shoulders. Oh, we're on a first name basis now. Captain, have we been in the desert too long, or is that really a dragon over there? <gasps> oh, is Zuka here? Oh, let's go get a drink. <laughs> I like this guy so much. Yeah, we made it out of the desert, thanks to Asami. Oh, they haven't heard the news yet. It's good to see you again, Avatar Korra. It's good to see you, Lord Zuko. Thanks for ditching me back at Zaofu. Yeah, sorry about that. Once again, the uh -oh. Earth Queen's reign has come to an abrupt and violent end. I'm afraid this is only the beginning, Dad. Wow, that was dark. Ugh. I'm still struggling with Zaheer's ideas a little bit. Because this is what he wants. So, like, it's not like he's wrong. Or... 
careless. Like, he wanted chaos. He's getting chaos. I guess I'm missing, like, the underlying value system behind it. There's this old thought experiment that's something like, imagine living in a compound where you have no personal freedom, and outside the compound is just hordes of man-eating tigers. The question is, are you more free in the compound or in the jungle? And I think Zaheer's answer to that is clear. And there's something to that, but I think it's an incomplete analysis. Maybe what's giving me trouble is this artificial idea that leaders are somehow outside of the, the realm of human choice or even chaos. Sometimes we tend to think of things we don't like in society as unnatural, but all things that exist have certain organic properties to them. And you don't need to try for chaos, like the state of the universe is chaos by default. And even some of the more oppressive things in many ways are a response to that chaos. As bad as things are, sometimes they are the best tools we have for a, a naturally dangerous situation. What Zaheer is creating in Basing Se is easy. We all have that capacity for chaos. And in many ways, these things, even oppressive things, arise as a response to chaos. And that doesn't mean that they're good, but it means that you have to view it as a, as a system, not as just an individual thing. Like, the queen's reign and the, the king system in Ba Sing Se did not just materialize from thin air. And so it's hard to make the claim that removing it and, and having chaos descend on the city is preferable or brings extra meaning to, to people. I don't know. I think if people are trapped in the ways that here wants them to be free, they're going to be trapped no matter what. But anyway, fantastic episode overall. Zaheer obviously has big plans for Korra. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this all plays out. Thank you guys for watching this very dark episode <laughs> with me. I'll see you soon for episode 11. Bye.